Sometimes, when you navigate away from a page, you might want to block the navigation and let the user decide if they want to cancel or if you want to continue the navigation. Let's do that with Tanstack Router. This feature is all about the use blocker hook. It can be used in two ways, but for now, let's see the first one through a blocker function. Depending on the return value of this function, you can either block or continue the navigation. And the first example is by passing a function returning window.confirm and you can pass a message. For example, are you sure you want to live? Let's give it a try. We're now into the profile page and if I try to live, are you sure you want to live? I can cancel or I can do that again and confirm. But what happens if I'm on the profile page and I try to close the tab from the browser? In this case, I will get the default browser behavior, which on Chrome says changes that you made might not be saved. And this is a generic message, so the navigation blocking function only works if you're navigating through something that is in fact controlled by the router. And this in general applies with every routing libraries. But now we get the navigation blocked every time we want to leave. Let's add a condition to that. For example, let's say I've got a const name with set name, obviously, and this begins empty. I want to block navigation only if a condition is true. And in this case, I think checking that name is true should be enough. Let me also add an input so that I can change the value of name and let's give it a try. So now the input is empty. If I click, nothing happens. If I type something here and I try to leave, then now the navigation is blocked and I can decide if I want to leave or not. So empty condition, this is false. And when the condition is true, I get the navigation blocked. Now, before showing the other version with the custom UI you saw in the intro, let me spend a couple more words here. Even though with custom UI, you probably have a smoother user experience, blocking navigation is kind of a disruptive action. And in some cases, it's probably recommended to use window.confirm so that the user has a clear indication that the app is preventing navigation. With that said, if you want that seamless experience, Let's give it a try with the custom UI. Starting from the first example, let's get rid of the blocker function, because this time we're gonna control the navigation with the return value of the use blocker hook. Here you can get a proceed function and a reset function, which as the name suggests, might allow or prevent the navigation. Let's also add some UI to control that. So this will be a couple of buttons, one calling proceed and one calling reset. If I go on the browser and I type something, when I try to navigate, nothing happened. If I click yes, now I can navigate. But I don't want this to be here all the time, right? And that's why the third return value here is status, which might be either idle or blocked. So let's wrap this div inside a condition and only show it if the status is blocked. If we go back on our application, we see that nothing is here. I can still navigate away if the condition is false. But if I tap something and the condition is true and I try to navigate away, the buttons will appear. If I click no, that is calling reject the navigation is blocked. If I click yes, the navigation is confirmed. But again, let me remind you that if the navigation is not controlled by something performed by the router, for example, if I refresh the page, I cannot use the custom UI, but it will go with the browser default. Once again, this happens with every routing library. So here I can just cancel or reload. By the way, if you're wondering how I can add this tilde character here, it's on the first video of this series. But the last thing I want to talk about today is instead of showing something here, what about if you want to use a model? Let's give it a try. Here we have our div with the buttons. Let's get rid of that. And for example, since I'm using ShadCN, I've got the other dialog component. Let me import everything. So here it seems a lot of code, but all of that is just to show the UI. Everything that really matters is that we still have a couple of buttons with reset and proceed. And we have an open Boolean value that is true only when status is blocked. So as you might expect, again, condition is false. I can navigate. Condition is true. If I try to navigate, the model appears and cancel, cancel the navigation and continue, continues the navigation. And that was it for chapter seven of the Tensor Router series. The code is on GitHub as always. Subscribe if you like this video. And also let me recommend you to check out the rest of the series of Tensor Router and the series on Tensor Form. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.